This year alone, from January 1st to July 7th, over 30,000 unaccompanied minors have illegally crossed the United States border. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, 1,500 of those children have been placed in New Jersey, 386 in Pennsylvania, and 117 in Delaware. Jan Ting, a law professor at Temple University and immigration expert, says the current influx of children has brought attention to a serious question. The country must answer. Whether we should admire and respect immigrants is not the question. The question is how many. In 2008, an anti-trafficking law which prevents the government from quickly deporting minors not eligible for asylum in the U.S. was established to protect immigrant children from being trafficked. The Obama administration claims the law is partly responsible for tying its hands in dealing with the current child migrant surge. But many officials say there's an exceptional circumstance clause that could be exercised. They're not trafficked. Their parents are paying smugglers thousands of dollars to get them into the United States. These kids are never going to leave. These kids are here forever. Uh, and more are coming, right? Because they're phoning home and saying, yep, it, it works. This is a smuggler you can trust. Uh, give them your money and get yourself into the United States. It makes sure. sense. Ting served as the assistant commissioner at the Immigration and Naturalization Service from 1990 to 1993, and he says the current border crisis is impacting Americans across the country. One of the problems with admitting people on a kind of ad hoc basis uh, is that we have no uh, prior health screening. Americans can't get higher wages if there's this pool of unemployment around them. And everywhere I go, I have public school teachers come up and talk to me and say, we have such a problem in our schools. We have so many uh, immigrant children who don't speak English. And frankly, um, those are perceived as special needs children, so they get all the resources. Uh, and so there's really nothing left. Uh, I mean, it's really uh, hurting public education everywhere. Many people have mixed emotions about minors entering the U.S. illegally. We decided to hit the streets to talk to residents here in the Delaware Valley to see what they had to say about this issue. I think it's totally wrong. They're not, they're not um, part of our country. We, have, we can't take care of our own. I think it's ridiculous. And it should be stopped immediately. They deserve a chance. They should be able to come over here and do what they can. It's just a hard decision to make, but um, I think that they should be sent back. They should let them stay. I mean, I, I don't think there's no reason why you got to send a little kid back. He, he made it here. You know, what's the difference from now from a couple hundred years ago? The state and the country need to help out our own first. While public opinion is split on this issue, so are politicians. But they continue to work to find an answer. For MeTV, I'm Veronica Dudo.